Understanding Standard Deviation, a field example. In this video, we hope to give you a sense of how you can visualize two key descriptive statistics, the mean and standard deviation, using data gathered on the thickness of the A horizon. In this slide, we are organizing the observations from the smallest value to the highest value. Note that the sample size, or n, equals 40 observations. We can further organize the data by placing observations into intervals, or bins. In this case, the intervals that are split into 5 centimeter increments. We can count up the number of observations in each interval or bin, which is called the frequency. The two intervals at the tails of the frequency distribution each have two observations in them, whereas the 25.1 to 30 centimeter interval has eight observations in it. The frequency can be visually portrayed as a histogram. The number of boxes in each interval is equal to the frequency. We can fit a continuous curve to the high points in each frequency. This curve has particular mathematical properties and is called a bell-shaped curve, a normal distribution, or a Gaussian distribution. The curve is generally symmetrical around its midpoint. The value of the midpoint can be calculated, and we have learned previously that it is called the mean. The mean alone, however, is not enough to characterize the curve. Two curves that differ greatly in appearance can have the same mean. What differs for these two curves is the variability of the data set, and we characterize this variability with a statistic called the standard deviation. If the data set is normally distributed, 68.2% of the observations are within one standard deviation from the mean. 34.1% less than the midpoint, and 34.1% greater than the midpoint. The value of the standard deviation is reported as a plus-minus value. The standard deviation for this data set is plus or minus 10.6 centimeters. These two descriptive statistics, the mean and standard deviation, can be used to summarize this complex data set.